and welcome to another episode of Take 10. Today I'm joined by hornist Eric Reed. Currently he is the horn of the American Brass Quintet and on the faculty of Juilliard, but he plays in numerous orchestras all around New York City as well as the Canadian Brass. So thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for having me. So let's just start off with how do you stay motivated in your practicing when you have all these different like engagements coming up? You have brass quintet stuff, you have orchestra stuff, you have you know chamber music of Lincoln Center. How do you stay motivated to keep everything going? That's a really good question. Um, it, it depends, you know. It, it really depends. There there are times when it's certainly harder than others to stay motivated on the practicing front. Uh, there are logistical problems too, of course, with running around and uh, having a family and um, booking too many things in the calendar. Sometimes the practicing is very limited. So we can certainly talk about practicing and how to make your time really efficient uh, if you don't have a lot of time, maybe a little bit later in our conversation. But uh, as far as staying motivated with a lot of different stuff going on, I gotta say, it's the stuff itself that motivates me the most. You know, I'm very, very grateful to have all the opportunities that I have and the variety of things is of part of what really drives me. Uh, living in New York and getting to do all of these different things is so cool. It's one of the main reasons I live in New York uh, and it is what kind of keeps me going. But yeah, to play different things every day, it, I think is, motivation enough to kind of get up and to hit the pavement, uh, also to get on the horn and make sure that I'm prepared um, for, for all the stuff that's coming up. Another part of that answer, of course, is my colleagues. I give a lot of credit to the amazing musicians uh, and artists that I get to work with for inspiring me to come prepared and to come engaged and to really pay attention. Uh, to what I'm doing because everybody wants to sound good for themselves and they want to do a good job for the people that hired them. What motivates me maybe the most when I'm at work is wanting to do a good job for my colleagues uh, and to be a good colleague and to make sure that everyone around me is comfortable. I think that's a big part of being a musician and being a collaborator is making sure that you are doing things not only for the purpose of being asked to do them again and for the purpose of supporting yourself and living, of course, these are important things, but to do them for out of a sense of generosity and collaboration and partnership, I think that's what is the most important thing. And that, that really does motivate me tremendously. Where do you go to get inspiration? Like if you're going to do a brass quintet concert, are there certain things that you go for inspiration to kind of get you in the mindset versus like trying to play Chaik 4 in an orchestra? Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's a really good question. I think um, at this point, I kind of know what it takes to walk into each of these different situations. I will, of course, do the requisite listening and preparing of my part, studying a score for whatever specific musical challenge that is coming. Again, being really engaged and paying attention to what you're doing when you're doing it is I think the most important thing. That's something that I think is a big, big challenge for people nowadays that you know this, this increasingly instant gratification society that we live in, being able to kind of tune things out and focus on what it is that you're doing right now. You know, as long as you're prepared and you've done your work, when you come to work and if you're focused, you're gonna be able to succeed by trusting all that other work that you've done, all of the fundamentals and all of the studying and the listening and the preparation. Being really engaged in what you're doing you can trust all that stuff and have a great time and excel no matter what it is. So when you're preparing for an audition or a competition or anything, is there any particular way you practice or how do you try to practice as effectively as you can? Very good question, very important question for a lot of young players out there and old players too. 
there are a lot of teachers out there that have published various audition prep sort of formulas, let's call them, uh, and you can find those online. I think that they're available. Jen Montone, Principal Horn of the Philly Orchestra, has one that I'm familiar with and that I know a lot of students have used. A lot of other teachers have similar programs that you go through. I think the thing that is the most common, the kind of common thread between all of these programs, if you will, is repetition. It may go without saying that you have to repeat what it is that you're practicing. That is kind of the definition of practicing, after all. It's an organized way of repetition that I think a lot of people kind of ignore the organized part. There's a certain frenzied kind of manic preparation style to a lot of students that I've noticed. They kind of run into the practice room and don't really pay attention to what they're doing. They don't really have a plan for what they're going to do in the practice room. They don't have a time limit. It's just sort of practice as much as possible and things will get better on their own. I found that that strategy may work for a small percentage of people, but generally it's not the best way to really master something. What I propose that my students do, and what's worked for me in my experience, is to divide the practice day into a lot of smaller chunks. And I've heard this from a lot of other teachers too. It's kind of universally understood. It's a about understanding how we learn and how the brain works and less about learning how to play Heldenleben opening. It is about recognizing the ability of the human brain to replicate a certain task. For me, I like to practice in three chunks, ideally, in a day. And I think for most brass players, that's about Physically, it's about as much as you want to be doing. But I like to divide the day into, let's say, three 45-minute chunks. I like to spend the first one working on fundamentals, note attacks, long tones, flexibility studies, things like that, scales. And then I like to take a nice little break. Um, you know, go for a run or have a sandwich. And then come back to it after a little break with a fresh mind and work maybe on some more fundamentals or maybe on some etudes or solos that you might be working on to add a more musical mindset to the fundamental practice that you've already done that day. And then I like to take another break and maybe after a couple of hours and a nap and then come back again with a fresh mind and a clear goal and work on some excerpts or again on some solo pieces or those etudes that you didn't get to or, or whatever. Um, of course you can organize the day however you want to based on what it is that you need to work on. This kind of separated approach I think is really key to seeing improvement on, in a short amount of time. I will say that being organized about specifically what you want to accomplish in a practice session is important too. I think it's really valuable to use a timer, uh, to enter a practice room with uh, a mindset that I'm gonna achieve this goal and I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes to work on that specifically. And you start the timer and you work on it. But when the timer goes off, you have to move on to something else. Everybody's had that, or that experience of going into a practice room, not really knowing what they wanna work on, and then just pulling something out of the bag, starting to work on it, and suddenly an hour's gone by and you really haven't accomplished a whole lot except just to make yourself really tired. And that doesn't really serve you very well in trying to prepare a bunch of things, which as we know for competitions and for auditions, that's the name of the game. You have to prepare a lot of stuff, a lot of really different stuff, all at the e an equal level so that you feel comfortable going in and playing whatever it is that they ask you to play.